Today I'm going to show you how to turn anything into gold using this simple combination of Photoshop filters and tools. The effect smooths out the details of a regular image and adds an array of shiny reflections to mimic the appearance of a polished metal statue. A gradient overlay gives the effect the yellowy tones of gold, then a few finishing touches add some bright highlights. But first, have you ever wanted to get better at drawing, design or photography? Or do you need some tips on improving your freelancing or marketing? If so, check out the thousands of online courses you can follow at Skillshare. Spoon Graphics subscribers can get 30% off their annual membership by signing up using the link below, which reduces the price from $99 to just over $69. What's more, you can also enjoy your first two months free, which means you don't even pay anything up front. Go to spoon.graphics Skillshare to learn some new skills or to expand your existing talents. I'll be using this photograph of a dancer by David Hoffman for this tutorial, but I've managed to turn quite a variety of things into gold using this technique, ranging from a parrot to a pineapple. The first step is to separate the subjects from its background. A quick and easy solution would be to use the Select Subject button and the Quick Selection tool. But not only does this make quite a rough selection of hair, even in areas where there's a hard edge, the clipping isn't very neat. I found a better approach was to trace the subject by hand with the brush tool. Set up the tip with maximum hardness, then in the brush settings enable smoothing. The value for this can be configured in the top toolbar to help iron out any wobbles or kinks in your brush strokes. Activate shape dynamics and choose pen pressure if you're using a graphics tablet. Reduce the spacing to 1% in the brush tip shape options. Choose a bright colour then add a new layer. Zoom in and begin tracing the subject. An advantage of creating a manual selection is you can make a neater selection of hair. Since the final effect is meant to look like a gold statue, it isn't necessary to capture every fine strand. Instead, simplify the selection into larger areas. The pen pressure setting allows you to taper the stroke at the end of the hair. But this setting can be turned off to make it easier to outline the main body areas of the subject. Once the entire outline has been traced, the inner space can be quickly filled with the fill bucket tool. This painted area accurately traces the main subject, but simplifies the hair to create a neater selection, all with nice crisp and smooth edges. Hold the command key or control key on windows and click the layer thumbnail to load the selection. Turn off the visibility of this layer. Drag the image layer onto the new layer icon to make a duplicate, then apply a layer mask which will be applied according to the active selection. Add a new layer below this duplicate image layer and fill it with black by first resetting the foreground and background colours, then use the shortcut Alt and Backspace. The subject is now isolated against a plain background. Make another duplicate of the image layer, then go to Image Adjustments and Black and White. Duplicate this black and white version, then change the blending mode of the new copy to Difference. Go to Image Adjustments and Invert. Shift and click both black and white layers, then go to Image and Merge layers to combine them into one. Duplicate this layer to make another copy, then give it the Difference Blending Mode again, followed by Invert. Merge these two layers under the Layer menu and Merge Layers. This combination of inverted Difference layers gives the image a shiny chrome metal effect. To give it a golden appearance, add a gradient map adjustment layer. Set up a gradient with three colours. I saved the preset I used, which incorporated a dark brown of 2D1203, a mid orange of E07E00, then a bright yellow of F7E4A3. Click the button in the properties panel to clip the gradient map to just the metal effect layer. Then shift and click the image layer in its gradient map and right click and choose convert to smart object so it's ready for some additional filters. Don't forget to turn off the visibility of the original clipped image layer. It's no longer needed but it's worth keeping as a backup. Go to filter, blur and surface blur. Configure the values to smooth out the harsh grainy textured areas that are a side effect of the difference blending mode. I'm using 10 radius and 20 threshold. Next go to Filter and Stylize and Oil Paint. Experiment with the stylization and cleanliness sliders to find the right balance for your image. 
Since this subject has quite a detailed pattern on the clothing, I went with 2 stylization and 1.5 cleanliness to preserve it, while still smoothing out the unwanted textures on the skin. Go to filter and filter gallery next and add a plastic wrap effect under the artistic category. Max out the highlight strength and smoothness values, but set the detail to minimum. Double click the settings icon next to this smart filter in the layers panel. Change the blending mode of the effect to colour dodge so those white areas act as bright highlights, but bring down the opacity to around 20% to reduce the intensity. Add an inner glow by double clicking the layer to open the layer style window. Configure the settings to colour dodge with white, then adjust the size to create a glow that creeps in from the edge. I'm using 50% for this image. Reduce the opacity to around 20% to leave a subtle highlight. A few more subtle highlights can be added on a new layer. Set up the brush tool with a small soft tip, then dab spots of white around the subject. Change the blending mode of this layer to Color Dodge 2. Then reduce the fill value so they're barely visible, but still noticeable if you turn the layer off. As a finishing touch, add a new layer above the black background and sample a gold hue to add a subtle color cast with a large brush. Reduce the opacity right down to around 15-20%. to 20%. Make a duplicate of the subject layer, then right click and choose Rasterize Layer. Press Command and T or Ctrl and T on Windows to transform, then right click and choose Flip Vertically. Move this duplicate into place to act as a reflection. Use the Warp tool to tweak the image so the hands and feet match up in the reflection. Add a layer mask to this reflection layer and erase the lower portion by painting with black. Bring down the opacity to finish off this simple reflection effect. The final result is a shiny gold effect that transforms a regular image into a gleaming golden statue. If you enjoyed this tutorial or learnt any new tricks, please give the video a thumbs up to help give it more exposure. Subscribe to the channel if you want to stick around for more of my video tutorials and join my mailing list over at my Spoon Graphics website to receive my free bundle of design resources. As always, thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.